Okay, I just wanted to show you something very disturbing, which a lot of you probably already knew about. But a lot of this music is just getting worse and worse. More openly satanic by the day. And, you know, your kids probably listen to these people I'm going to talk about. Uh, you may even listen to the people that I'm going to talk about. But I'm going to show you why you shouldn't be listening to these uh, rap artists like Little Uzi Vert and Trippy Red. Alright, first thing, this, this Little Uzi Vert guy... He says his fans are going to hell with him. He gets on stage and says that his fans are going to hell with him. And I can't even hit play on it because, you know, it's he's cussing too much. He's saying, the, if, uh, he starts talking about the rapture. And then he says every, all of his fans are going to hell with him. And that's exactly what he wants. That's exactly what the devil wants. Is he's using these people to lead you to hell with him. So don't don't follow them to hell. The Bible makes it plain that there is a way that you can go. There is the way of death. And there is a way that people want to lead you. In Proverbs 14, 12 it says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And then in Matthew 7, 14 it says, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. They're going the broad way to hell. And then in Proverbs 13, 15, it says, Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. That way of transgressors, it's hard. It may be pleasurable at first, but it's hard. Proverbs 5, 5 says, Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on hell. That's talking about a woman that can lead you to hell. People can lead you down the road to hell. Psalms 1 1 says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So don't go with the sinners. Don't go in the way of them. Uh, Proverbs 1 10 through 16 says, My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause, let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down into the pit. Cast in thy lot, among, or we shall all find precious substance. We shall fill our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path, for their feet run to evil, and make haste to shed blood. That's little Uzi Vert, that's little Trippy Red, whatever his name is. They're trying to lead you down the path of destruction. And that's just that's just part of it there. Little Uzi Vert says his fans are going to hell. And if they don't get saved, they're going to go to hell. If he doesn't get saved, he's going to go to hell. Now look at this next thing. Uh, his CD cover for Eternal A Take he got his inspiration from the cult Heaven's Gate. Yeah. I mean, he's copying this this cult group here and making that his album cover. I mean, that should that should be a sign right there. The next thing, little Uzi Vert wears a Marilyn Manson necklace, a notorious, notoriously known Satanist. Look at this Marilyn Manson necklace that he wears. And you know, these these rappers, they pride themselves on their jewelry. Uh, I read somewhere that he spent $220,000 on this ugly necklace. I mean, Marilyn Manson is an evil person. And if his influence is Marilyn Manson, he's somebody that we don't want to listen to. But that is his God, these, these gods of gold and silver. And Exodus 20, 23 says, You shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall you make unto you gods of gold. And Deuteronomy 7, 25, it says, The graven image, images of their gods shall you burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is in them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an, abomina for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Daniel 5, 4 says they drink wine and praise the gods of gold and of silver and of brass and iron and of wood and of stone. 
and then in First Timothy uh, two nine, it talks against women adorning themselves in, with their gold and pearls and costly array. See, these things are worldly; they're temporal. And it's materialism. That's that's what all the rap music is. It's worldly. It's temporal. It's materialism. All they're thinking about is this present life, living it up now. And I don't want to listen to somebody that's wearing a Marilyn Manson necklace. That's just creepy. I mean, look at this. Look at this necklace. He wears a Marilyn Manson shirt. Look at this. He's got the Marilyn Manson necklace on here, possibly. And got Marilyn Manson on his shirt. And then look at the all C and I symbolism there. With the with the eye glowing right there on the Marilyn Manson shirt. That's the thing you're gonna see with these rappers is the all seeing eye symbolism. Let me show you about that. Why do we see oh, this all seeing eye symbolism? That's because the Antichrist in the Bible is gonna have a darkened right eye. This is a prophecy of the Antichrist in Zechariah eleven seventeen it says, Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye, his arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. So that's what you're going to see, is all-seeing eye symbolism, this satanic symbolism, uh, a lot with this little Uzi Vert character. Proverbs 28, 22, He that hasteth to be rich hath an evil eye, and considereth not that, the, that poverty shall come upon him. So he has no idea what's coming. He thinks he's he's smart. The devil's got him deceived, and he the devil's using him to deceive you. But what else does this get, this same rapper have? Upside down crosses. Look at all these upside down crosses he's got on here on his neck. Why would he wear these upside down crosses? Look at this. Look at the hat. Look at the upside down cross. Over and over again. That's he's just celebrating it. There with the earring. There with the earring again. Look at this on stage here. The upside down cross is behind him. This very openly demonic rap music. What's this here? Little Uzi stage designer. Upside down crosses. Very openly satanic. And I mean this is not a... Uh, just a small thing here. This guy gets millions and millions and millions of views. He has millions of followers. But why does he have upside down crosses? It's because these people hate the cross. The devil hates the cross. That's how we get to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, who's our crucified, buried, and risen Savior. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 1.18, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But the, unto us which are saved is the power of God. They hate the cross. It's foolish to them. They'd rather live it up and live their best life now. But the Bible says, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, was buried and resurrected. That's how we get eternal life. And this little Uzi Vert guy, his name, this, people mention how if you say his name fast, little Uzi Vert, it kind of sounds like Lucifer. I don't know if that's planned or not or just a coincidence. But these people, they want to make themselves a name. They want to be remembered. But they're trying to be remembered for being bad. Uh, Proverbs 10, 7 says, The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Uh, Psalms 9, 5 says, Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name forever and ever. There's going to be a day when little Uzi Vert stands in front of Jesus Christ and if he hasn't been saved, then he's going to be tossed into the lake of fire. He will be remembered no more. And Philippians 2, 10, 11 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And at every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You got those upside down crosses. He has album covers with uh, demon wings, got some birds in the background, unclean spirits in the Bible are represented by unclean birds. But over and over again, you see how 
Look at that uh, halo and the wings. Over and over again, you're seeing it. It goes on and on and on. And then this trippy red character. His album cover has the all-seeing eye all over it. There he has the all-seeing eye on the forehead. There he has the all-seeing eye at the pyramid on the top. He's got this uh, skull with the all-seeing eye. Here's another eyeball. Just completely openly satanic. This trip, and I mean, you, you already know the lyrics are just filth, full of sex and violence. The videos are uh, full of uh, uh, out, outright nudity and violence. Now look at this CD cover, whatever it is. You got the little Uzi Vert, then you got the or not, but trippy red here, and you got the pyramid in the back with the all seeing eye looking down at him. And look how demonic it looks. Just completely demonic. And this guy here, he has, if you look at his tattoos, he has a, a tattoo that says demons at play with upside down crosses. He has 666 tattooed on him. On his, uh, it's on his CDs. It's in his music videos. It's openly satanic. Uh, you're allowing your kids to, to look at all this stuff. Let me just show you here. Let's just look him up on here. Look at all this satanic music videos. Look here, the, the all-seeing eye. This just came out three days ago. 444,000 souls watched this video. And you think this is irrelevant. 28 million. 123 million. 1 million. 108... 807,000. Just openly demonic. Look at this demonic looking Grinch thing. Here he's with Busta Rhymes. The old the old rapper that needs to grow up. There's that all seeing eye again. There he is holding a gun. And these hip yet these hypocrites are always talking about gun violence. Gun violence. That yet they're listening to this music that's just talking about killing people. Here he is with Machine Gun Kelly. There he is with that. There's that all seeing eye again with the 666. There it is, all seeing eye. What is this? Like a voodoo doll here. V12. This came out three days ago, so he's put out some more wicked music. Trippy Red TR666. Openly satanic garbage is what you have here. What is this? More voodoo dolls here or something? Possibly. This isn't something that you, you want to listen to or let your kids listen to. And I hope that I've opened somebody's eyes to the demonic nonsense behind this music. And if you've been led to this video and you're not saved, I want to show you the gospel. I want to show you how to be saved. You need to get saved today. You can get saved right now where you're watching this video. In 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4, it says, For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. How that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. And that he was buried and rose, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He shed his blood. He was buried and resurrected for you. He died on the cross for your sins. Every sin that you ever committed, every bad thing that you ever done or ever will do, Jesus Christ shed his blood for that on the cross. He had to do this because you're a sinner. The Bible makes it clear in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But the Bible makes it clear that you can be saved if you will quit relying on yourself to make it to heaven. Don't rely on yourself because you can't be good enough to get to heaven. You can't do enough good things to earn eternal salvation in heaven. Jesus Christ did all the work for you on the cross. And all you have to do has come to Jesus the best way you know how. It says in Acts 16.31, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. That's how you get saved from hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Just like you're trusting in that chair that you're sitting in to hold you up. Come to Jesus and trust in Him. 
to get you to heaven. And the Bible makes it clear, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So if you want to be saved, call on him today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ before it's entirely too late. And after you get saved, throw out the wicked music, throw out the wicked movies, throw out the wicked video games, and get away from this demonic stuff. It's not doing nothing but holding you back. It's not doing nothing but going to make your life miserable. And it's leading you down the road to destruction, as I've already showed you. It's making you worldly. It's making you think about the temporal, material things. It's making you hate the cross of Jesus. So get saved today before it's too late.